The Edinburgh Capitals were the visitors on Fright Night in Nottingham. Would Panthers give them a scare or would the visitors be the scary opposition that many in the league believe they have the potential to be? They have some great players this year and they're a very different fish from the one that normally comes to town. Panthers would need to be ready. They came back from Spain with a clean sweep in the Continental Cup by plane. They didn't need to use the tunnel. They had one of their own waiting for them though. The first outing of the news pause tunnel to bring the team onto the ice. Itching to get on the score sheet, no doubt, David Clark. He was looking to score one goal to make the milestone of the first player to score 350 goals in all the IHL competitions. I can tell you he did it, but did he do it on the winning side? Or was it a real fight night in Nottingham? You know, they've dealt with stuff that you've dealt with or, you know, either way. Um, just all the little things, you know, it just kind of helps guys together, uh, you know, get, get along better. And then also, you know, getting to have a little bit of fun on the road, obviously, is always, uh, is always good as well. Absolutely. As Peter Callis, recipient of that pass off the half while Brad Moran regains, and now it's going to ricochet to that far side. And the Edinburgh Capitals managed to clear. Taking a stumble there was Andy Serdich, and that gives Edinburgh Capitals some time and space. Mika Wickham with the save. Ball up. They score. Edinburgh Capitals draw first blood. Almost four minutes into this contest, and getting on the board that time are the Edinburgh Capitals. Carol from us, indeed, the goal scorer. And uh, that's a tough play for uh, Weakman to save uh, on a rebound like that. And waits for reinforcements, and as a swing, Brad Moran comes in. He activates the break. That's played out. That's Clark coming in to work in the trenches. Over for Dimon. Played laterally, but Spang had to bounce off his skate and the Edinburgh Capitals on the counterattack. One more for Milan, they score! Great tip in front there. Milan will set it up, 14.09 still remaining. Edinburgh Capitals take a two goal lead early into this first period. A looper sent in there by Logan McMillan and he'll call that a shift. Jeff Brown with a thundering hit to get things going. Oh, he's looking for more. And taking back his callus. He'll cough it up though. Mika Weekman comfortably makes the save. Well outside the blue paint, cutting down the angle. Serge slips the hit that time. And now Edinburgh Capitals managed to keep it in. Only briefly as Johnson forced to retreat. McDougal with plenty of wiggle room here. Activates the trailer for Johnston. Johnston's bit is gonna go wide to the left of Mika Weekman, but Edinburgh Capitals still, and they score! Great tip in front. And approaching the halfway mark of this first period, Edinburgh Capitals have a 3-0 lead. And that's another one of those heart for goaltenders, wasn't it, Schultze? Yeah, it was a great uh, shot pass. Moran was in the front screening, and Fullerton has a club in the right place. Moran goes chasing for it, and Johnston booted in. Now one more opportunity in front of the net. Fullerton has it somewhere underneath there, and they're fighting and battling for it. No goal after that. Just commotion in the blue paint. Keeping possession now is Eric Lindhagen at the corner. Clark has a skating lane. Tries to find Robert Farmer, but that pass goes between his legs. As Jeff Waugh chops it forward. And our Capitals managed to seal the wall and get the biscuit to the offensive zone. Farmer says thank you very much. As he stick handles in and he's going to send one high and wide for Travis Fullerton. And we're Capitals. Capitals looking to settle down here. That's from us. Delicate little pass and very speedy scores! That's a great play by the Edinburgh Capitals to get that 4-0 lead. For Moran, and then McMillan makes a nice move and tables it for Sertich. Sertich behind the cage, looking for a passing lane. He tries to go between the skates of the D-man there. Carter manages to keep it in, however, and will siphon it right back in. An awkward bounce that happens a lot on that side of the ice. 
And then Dimmon pumps one in McGrath in the screen there. That's, that's going to go wide as Fang joins the play on the near half wall. Now joining the act is Matt Carter as he sent one wide of the cage. Jeff Dimmon. Over for Brad Moran and he has a bid. Can't find the target either that time. Spang for Matt Carter in the back door. Fullerton gets there in time. He can't freeze it, however. Brian McGradden gets cooking now. Looks for a chance. Dobron got a good chunk of that and made it ricochet out. Carter keeps it in. McGradden for Dimon. Now chasing for it is Brad Moran, but this has been a long shift for both of these lines. Now Dimon pumps it in, and that's going to be saved by Travis Fullerton. A little bit of friction here to end the period, and after 40 minutes of play, it's 4-0 favoring the Edinburgh Capitals. Now skate to stick for number five once more. He'll redish it for Moran, and those two play catch with Dimon. That pass thwarted as Will Gosh gets out of the box to help out his team who are hemmed in their zone currently. Schultz stuck in a board battle. Robert Farmer has the puck. A bobbling one, a great interception there. Yes, David Clark contributing at the half wall. McMillan joins the play, eagerly so. Dimon gets on his backhand and puts on the brakes. Goes for the point man. Dance back, scores! Looks like that was tipped in front. And a great tip that was. Looks like David Clark at least celebrating it. That's number five with the tally. Draw instead of Alex looking for it. They get tied up at the dot. Peter Callis in hot pursuit. Dubron now rejoins the Capitals on the ice. Panthers still on the power play. Peter Callis physical at the end boards. And Carter changes the point of attack for Nicky Forrick. Those two link up once again. Oh, what a save once again by Fullerton. He's absolutely sparkling on this penalty kill. From the goal scorer, Will Gosh. But here come the Capitals. That's off the skate of Peter Callis. Logan McMillan, the recipient of the token. And Callis will actually take a spill there. And now we've got it going on. Callis throwing in some haymakers there. And not so much response from the Edmund Capitals. It looks like Callis is going to get the gate here. Number 47 is not very happy at all. As Carter exchanges the direction. Carter regains a couple of stick handles and David Clark at the point position. Sertich looks for a passing lane. One time pass there by Nicky Fork for Brown, but he just shoveled it wide of the cage. Carter changes direction. Walking in is Sertich looking for a, perhaps Cals or Nicky Fork to tap it in there. Nicky Fork. Saddles it down, SCORES! That was a bomb! And if your name is David Clark, that's just another standard shot for you. But that was something else. However, with 32 seconds to go, Edinburgh Capital still has a 4-2 lead, and it might be too little too late. Debbie Clark joins us to look back on, uh, as we said at the top of the highlights, a fright night in Nottingham, not the scoreline anyone was looking for. You ended up with two goals. One of them reached an, an EIHL milestone, <laughs> 350 in all competitions, but knowing you, you'd swap both those goals for two points. Absolutely, yeah. We, we didn't get out of the blocks very well tonight, and uh, credit to them. They are a good team. We knew that. We did we did, um, we did, our, did our research on them, and they came out flying. Goalie played terrific. And uh, you know when you're four nothing down, it's it's pretty tough to to try and salvage something. I thought we made a decent effort, but not good enough. You're right; it wasn't good enough. But you'd still outshot them 44-16. I mean, some people could shrug and say, "Oh, it was one of those nights," 
but that's not something we'd like to lean on in Nottingham, is it? No, no, we're disappointed to say you get 44 shots, you want to you want to be converting. You know, you're looking to get four goals from that. So, yeah, tough night for sure. Um, credit to them, the uh, goalie played terrific, like I said before, and uh, we're ready to go and we're ready tomorrow night. Fans were great. Fans were exceptional coming out for, for that fixture on Halloween, on a holiday weekend and what have you. And let's draw a line under the match itself, David, and just congratulate you. First player to reach 350 EIHL goals in all competitions. Well done. Cheers.